Yeah. Okay, just one more right there. Whew. God, this is a lot of work. Can you guys give me a hand? I'm trying to build a lot more in Planet Zoo and I really need your help. If you click on that like button, you'll help me out in building a larger zoo. Thank you. All right, so we are back in our Planet Zoo. Look how gorgeous this zoo is looking. We have like eight whole uh, habitats. That means we have eight different species of animals. Actually, we only have seven because this habitat right here is home to more lions. Because it turns out I have one too many lions. This one right here, these are my lions, look at them. I'm glad they find the box entertaining. Yeah, beat up that box. But I am actually looking at expanding this zoo even more. Look at all this plot of land we have behind it. Like, look, I haven't even used most of it. Tiny zoo up in the corner. Look at that. That's insane. But what I intend to do is to get busy with building so I can build new, larger habitats so I can have bigger array of animals in my zoo. This is going to be a lot of work. Let's get started. Let's do some pathing already. How large is it going to be? They're going to be as long as they can be. One square done. And already it's like the same size as the zoo. Just a bit of confusion. Construction here and there and presto we have nine new blocks yeah that's right we made gigantic pathways so we can make new habitats now this is gonna be fun what how many do we have here nine so we have nine containment areas in the pathway that we can use to make new habitats for animals now we can make multiple habitats inside of these areas we don't have to just make one but they're so large so like how large can one be for real should we make one that's just the gigantic square. Where should we start, actually? This is like a grid of tic-tac-toe. I don't know where to start. I know strategically it might be better for us to start the corner. So let's start in this first corner right over here, adjacent to the elephants. Oh, we could use new walls. We have been using a lot of red brick, so we can probably just go with red brick again. But these things are gigantic. We're gonna have to fill up a lot of space. This is gonna be a lot of wall making, though. How many walls do I need? Wow. Cool. So now we have a gigantic square. It hasn't even taken up the entire pathway. We have so much open area. Maybe be able to work around that. We only made the largest area we could and still not be able to fill it in. Alright, let's make them six meters tall. Let's actually make it all glass. Woo! Look at that! It's like it's not even there. Awesome. So we have a barrier. We might have to put some alternate blocks in there just so it's not all glass. Because I can see the animals getting a bit anxious about that. Okay, let's use that much for red brick. Let's get over here and do the same thing. Cool design, bro. Who made it? Uh, I made it. This is my zoo, after all. And, you know, just because we can, let's make these two walls back here. One-way glass. Yeah, that way the animals don't see the other animals on the other side. But people can still enjoy the back area of the zoo. Okay, okay, so it looks like my workforce is taking care of all of the broken glass or all the broken walls that there was. I thought it was my elephants again. My zoo is still functioning just fine during all this renovation. That's perfect. So much so that guests are thinking my tickets are underpriced. And you know what? I'm not going to complain if people think my tickets are underpriced. I'll be happy enough to raise those prices. Very quickly, let's go back to animal trading. I need to find an animal to put into this new gigantic area. I don't know what they would be. <gasps> Ooh, I could get some more cats. I already have cats at the front though, so maybe I should look at something new. Zebras! Plain zebras! They might like that. All four of these zebras in this pen, shouldn't I? Honestly, I believe a zebra is going to make this zoo much, much better. Much more enjoyable, too. So bike. This is a plain zebra, and they have green across the board. Uh, sign me up. I'll take a zebra. I'm gonna adopt all of these zebras. I just ordered four zebras. Oh, wow. I just realized I got four zebras. I don't even have a habitat ready for them. Okay, uh, very quickly. Let's do habitat. Let's try and figure out how to... No! Oh, no, that's sad news. As soon as I was trying to make a habitat for my zebras, sad news that one of my animals passed away. It was Umaima. Oh, no, Umaima's my dog. Oh, no. Oh, Umaima. She was 13. Honestly, she lived a really long life. I'm happy for her. Rashidi's the same age. It's okay, Rashidi. Don't worry. Somebody will be by to take care of her and her pups. Aw, uh, we still have Rashidi's little puppy over here. Hi, puppy Rashidi. Aw, uh, looks like my vet came by and is getting Umaima and taking her to her resting place. Aw, it's okay, guys. Don't worry. My dogs are just gonna be a little sad today. They'll be alright because we have plenty more zoo to make them happy. Like this, we have another habitat we're still working on. 
I need to get it. I need to get it underway. What do zebras want? It looks like they do want a bit of shelter. It might suit them. It might help them out. Uh, okay, so let's get them a classic shelter. How does that look? I mean, it looks classic, really. All right, feeding station will be back here underneath the sheltered area. Uh, right there, that's good. And let's put some bedding down. Where would their bedding be? I'd assume they'd want their bedding like somewhere over here, further away from everyone, but at least equal distance from every direction of their pen. Here we go, nice bedding. Let's get some large leaves in there just to get a bit of green texture. That's nice, I like that. Here we go, a grab ball. <laughs> okay, one grab ball there. Let's actually put a few down. That way they all have something to play with. I'll only put two down because they still have other toys, like a ball feeder. That's awesome. Put one on the opposite side, too. They're gonna need a food trough, obviously. I said I wanted to have that underneath this shelter. I'm worried they would want to use this shelter for belt bedding, though, and not just feeding. So I'm actually gonna put the feeding stuff on the outside. Maybe put two feeders so they could all eat. Now, where is the water? Where are their water troughs? Oh, they take a water pipe. That's cool. Let's put water down. Nice. Get some nice bedding in here, just in case they want to nap under the shelter. If it ever rains here, I'd assume they would want to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the presses. Who's littering? I can't believe they would do this in my facility. Give me a trash can. Classic trash bin. How dare you guys? Here, I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put another trash bin over here. I can't even see where they are. You people are dirty, dirty. Look at all this trash on the floor. Look, I'll put one right there so there's two trash bins near each other. Just keep my park clean. My employees shouldn't have to do it. Humans should. Uh, no, my employees are definitely human, obviously. But, like, the idea that people would just throw their trash everywhere, especially around the animals? Come on, people. Woo, okay, trash cans are down. Hopefully that improves the cleanliness of my park. Should be sparkling clean, but some people just want to throw their garbage down. Uh, let's check in on our new animals because I know we have our zebras coming in. I do want to send our zebras to the quarantine. That way they can get checked by our veterinarian on staff. That way we can make sure that they're not going to be causing any more trouble for us. On top of all the things that they have inside of their habitat, I definitely need the simple stuff like water as well as a bit of energy because I will have some things back here that will require energy. Okay, so two of my animals passed their quarantine, but the other two had to go to the veterinarian to get checked up on. That doesn't sound good for me, but that's gonna be fine. I'll be able to send these animals into their play pens, right? So Zakia and Akin's gonna get moved into their new habitat, which is right over here, the big boy. All right, let's get these plain zebras over here, even though I'm really excited for these plain zebras. They don't sound plain to me, okay? They sound beautiful. They sound awesome. Where are they at? Where are they coming from. Oh, here we go. We got one of the zebras already on their way. Thank goodness. I'm glad my employees are really happy. Out of my way. I have things to put into habitats. And we got the other guy holding the other zebra behind me. We still just have the two other zebras waiting. Moment of truth. Let's see this zebra. Whoa. Oh, he looks so dorpy. Like, look at his, oh, two zebras in one. Look at these zebras, they're big zebras. I didn't know zebras were this thick. Oh, they're enjoying the shade. And it looks like they're enjoying their habitat already. Both zebras are green across the board. Ooh, actually, it looks like they have a bunch of different options. I could put more soil in, make it look like that they have some wear and tear on the ground, like they've been here a while. And it just gives them a bit more to like enjoy inside their habitat. Let's get more short grass. Too much long, not enough short. Where are these zebras? You guys enjoying just the shade? Just this one shady spot over here? Let that be, to be honest, uh, to be fair, I only gave them one tree, so maybe they'll like some more. If I look up zebra, do they have a specific tree they like? Whoa, what is this? That doesn't look like a tree at all. Definitely making my game lag. Ugh, that's crazy. That's something I'd like to have to build another day. Sorry, zebras. Instead of getting a gigantic, cool looking dome, you're just gonna get trees. Got some neat looking trees being added to each corner. That way they have shade everywhere. Get some shade on their little resting area, a little bit more privacy. Awesome, so now they have more area. Hopefully they'll run around more. I see one of them just hanging out. Thank goodness my zebras are enjoying their time. What? A broken barrier? Oh, you got elephants! Elephants, stop! Stop breaking these barriers! You're making a ruckus again! Oh. I'm gonna have to do something about these elephants. <laughs> 
This has been another exciting episode of Planet Zoo. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Please, if you did, smash that like button like the elephant smashed its own glass window. And drop a comment down below. Let me know what more you want to see from Planet Zoo. If there's a specific animal you want added in, I would like to know your favorites. And if you enjoyed this much, then you need to smash that subscribe button. That way you can join this channel and everything that comes with it. Like this, another video on top of the screen. Yeah, it's right here in front of me. I'm about to go and take care of my elephant. Offense, but if you guys want to watch more this one video right here, so please click it tap it whatever you have It's right here. Come on. Otherwise this video is just gonna end